Hello everyone, welcome to another short tutorial in Unreal Engine. So this time we are going to look at uh, one of the new feature in Unreal Engine 5.3 uh, which uh, Epic has developed uh, regarding local volumetric fog or rather say local fog. Uh, as we all know like we can create uh, fog in Unreal Engine in a multiple ways uh, for example one of the fog in this scene uh, is already there is like the exponential height fog which we normally use in most of the scenes which is like a like a background fog kind of a thing and which also has the volumetric fog feature inside it and uh, there are multiple ways we know that we can create a local volumetric fog by creating a custom shader and applying the shader on top of either particle systems or it can be on a, a mesh uh, to create a local volumetric fog. Uh, but in 5.3 a new method has been introduced uh, which is fairly simple so uh, if you go to visual effects and you will see local height fog so all we want to do is just drag it onto your scene and that's it that created a local uh, height fog for your scene and uh, we have certain parameters which we can tweak to see like how this will uh, look in terms of uh, the visual quality so as you can see here there are like two basically two modes are there one is a height fog mode which is basically uh, like a uh, like like a gradient height fog kind of a feel and another one is a sphere fog which is more of a spherical uh, fade kind of a feel so let us see what are the properties we can tweak so as you can see here fog density we can play with the density we can play with the height fall off as well uh, there is a height offset feature and also the attenuation so if you have some sharp edges or something like that so you can actually attenuate that thing and to have it a much uh, smoother blend of the fog and similarly we have scattering distribution as well and uh, we have fog color and emissive so in this case uh, I'll just change the color of the fog so that it looks a little uh, brighter and, and more uh, ma like better fitted with this kind of environment so let me just tweak it a little bit so as you can see how nicely you can create a uh, like a local fog system and you can duplicate and basically art direct your scene uh, however you want so it will give you a much better and nicer way of controlling your fog in your scene so this is a very nice feature i believe where you don't want to go through all those hassles of creating the shader and all obviously uh, if you are going with that volumetric shader method you'll end up having a lot of more features and all those things but this is a very quick way of uh, having a local height fog in your scene where you uh, like don't have to rely on those complicated systems and one of the best feature of uh, this height fog is uh, which uh, none of the other volumetric fog like has it uh, is like whenever we have to create a volumetric fog like a local volumetric fog uh, we need that exponential height fog uh, to be there in the scene and also the volumetric fog to be enabled but whereas uh, in this case the local height fog doesn't actually need the exponential height fog to be present in the scene so that's an, one beautiful thing so even if we uh, switch off the exponential height fog as you can see you still have the local height fog so this is uh, this is one of the like uh, great thing which I believe uh, which epic has introduced in 5.3 and uh, this this will 
like help us all to to beautify your scenes and and to uh, get a much like art directed scene uh, in general so hope uh, this is a helpful information for you guys so until next time keep playing around so bye bye